What have the people of Stardew Valley been drinking? Hey yo, Thallion here, and welcome back at long last to Stardew Valley. It has been a while since I- oh hi, how you doing? It's been a while since I made a video on this game, mainly because I wanted to get out of winter before I continued, and that took a while. Um, oh, ooh, oh, Kent, I think I know who this guy is. He's the uh, father of, um, 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 of Super Saiyan Kid, right? Does that make him Vegeta? Like, should I talk to him Vegeta -like? voice? Like, ah, uh, hello there. My name's Kent. Oh, uh, that's not a Vegeta voice. I'm better at my Nappa voice. Vegeta! But no, like, and it looks like he's a military officer. You can tell by the, uh, the shoulder pad just right there. Um, hello there. My name's Kent. I just got back last night from overseas. Okay, so I'm guessing he was fighting in the war that I mentioned about. Like, there's a war going around. This place is a nice little pocket of tranquility. My wife told me that there was a new farmer, that a new farmer had moved in while I was gone. Would that be Jody? I think Jody is the kid's hair. The kid's hair. No, Jody is the kid with the hair's mother. Is that, is that all? Well, I just wanted to introduce myself. I'll see you around. Hawkward character introduction. <laughs> introduction. So it is a new year. It is now spring and I have been busy during winter. I will tell you what. I will tell you how watch you what you're missing. And so I'm going to go and I'm going to show you around the farm because we got a few hours before actual daybreak um, or before the shops open. So let's go in here. Why the fucker? No, why are my chickens outside? Oh no, I left their coop open. Hi, chickens. Hi. Oh, thank you to uh, Crystal for mentioning the silo thing. I did build it because now I can get hay. Yeah, I can get a lot of hay because I'd had to buy it before. Also, huge shout out to Kaoru for giving me so many tips and tricks to improve like my relationship with Abigail and to learn how to like interact with the villagers better, the villagers, the townspeople better. So thank you so much. I've actually been working really hard. Like Abigail, yeah, she's at four hearts now. I should be able to do a heart event. Um, I followed that link that you sent me. And so I'm going to try to trigger that when the time is right. But let's go ahead and I want to look at everything that we have. I don't remember what all I had last time I made a video. Um, we have this part where I can like have my chickens and everything. I think I think I had the chickens and the cow places in the last video. So I did build the silo, which is very useful. I put it right here by the cave. I still I think this is a greenhouse. Maybe I don't know. Uh, let's go over here. There was something interesting that I found during the winter, though. I found this. Grandpa's Shrine. Thank you, Undertale Music, for coming in. This thing's kind of creepy. I'm guessing this is just a shrine to our dead grandfather. When I came here, when I found this, when I was clearing my farm, because I've cleared all of it of trees, which kind of has made it look a little barren, but there was a note here that said, uh, like, I'll return or I'll see you. Expect my return on the dawn of your third year. So... I don't know what that means. Honestly, it kind of creeped me out. Do we have a ghost grandpa coming around? I could get milk from these guys, but I'm going to save that for later. Because nobody wants to watch me milking a cow all day. Just boop, 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 all day. No sorry. But is there a way to automate the game taking food from the silo and putting it in the bins? Or does having the silo do it, uh, do that itself? Well, I ha I've had the silo. I just haven't had the hay in the silo. So maybe it does it. I don't know. Leave down in the comments below. Does that automate the feeding process for the animals? Or do I still have to do that? Also, where do I click the hay from? Can I click on the silo? Like, this is my first spring since I built it. So I have no clue. Pieces of hay. 20, 51 out of 240. I guess so. I need to, I need to collect more hay, though. Hello, Cooperton. How are you doing? But I have cleared out my entire farm. I have made a crazy good farm. Like, it's all... Oh, I'm going to... I'm probably going to start a grass starter on it after I uh, start making crops. Speaking of which, I totally need to go get new crops for the year. Oh, I totally forgot. Oh, boy. Here we go. Oh, uh, yeah, here we go. Right uh, here. It's okay. I made a note card. Oh, Abigail. Hey, I got something for you. So this was also something that Kaoru uh, told me. Abigail is one of Abigail's favorite gifts, are amethysts. I seriously love this. You're the best, Bear Brash. Oh, thank you, Abigail. Oh, you're so sweet. I've already given her a gift today. Uh, let me just talk to you. Oh, hi. Do you ever hang out at the cemetery? It's a peaceful place to spend some time alone. Huh. No, I haven't. Like, I guess I've, I've interacted with it a little bit. So I need to start gathering seeds. And I don't remember. Oh, I should have taken a note out of, of what I needed. Oh, boy. I don't know exactly what I need. I need parsnips. I know I need parsnips. I need to just buy a lot. You know what? Screw it. I have 52k gold. I have a lot of gold. I'm going to buy 30 of everything because winter is actually a pretty good time for me because I just go into the mines on my off days when I don't have anything else to do. 
and that nets me a ton of money because I can bring home six, seven thousand gold. I didn't mean to get 32 of those. And then let me get some more potatoes because I'm, I'm trying to build out the community center and I have it written down. I just, I, I, let me make sure I get what I need. I need green beans. There's a guy from the bean starter. I need, I need parsnips. Oh, you can see where I crossed off everything on the other side. Don't worry about that. Um, and I need potatoes. So boom. So yeah, I'm going to get 30 potato seeds. We're going to be good. He should have new stuff too, like kale and garlic. Do I need that yet though? I don't know. Quality fertilizer. I don't have quality fertilizer. I don't know how to make it yet. I don't think I have the skill point for that. Oh, I'm going to need a lot of that. I didn't need this much fertilizer. I just realized I didn't need near that much fertilizer because the fertilizer stays all season. So oops, my bad. <gasps> hey, Super Saiyan, your dad's back. Hey farmer, how you doing? I am honestly so giddy and excited to be back playing this game. Like I've been doing it in the winter and the winter was really cool because it was really nice and pretty. <gasps> Fuck, I didn't mean to do that. My mistake, my bad, don't do that. Uh, don't, do, I don't mean to yell profanities because I don't ever yell profanities, never, ever. Wait, how did I, how was I doing this? Was it, was it here? Was that where it was before? I think so, boom, yeah, okay. But, uh, I never yell profanities. Get out of here. But I really find this game relaxing, and I wanted to start working on farm stuff because I want to finish the community center with the Jumingos and everything, and I think it would be really fun and cool. And, again, really? Really? Is there a way that I can not do this when I'm resetting everything? Is there a way that I can... Uh, I, if anybody has a tip, if they know a nice little cheat to not accidentally knock up their sprinklers when they're, when they're trying to hoe their farm, I would also love that. I have been, I, I really appreciate the tips that you guys have given me in the comments below. It has helped so much with this playthrough. I would be so like behind and unable to know what to do otherwise. And I don't, I didn't know the way to trigger all the different events and what heart levels they were at. So it's really nice to have that. And um, I didn't know about how important a silo is. So this is all me just talking about stuff I don't know. But for real, your tips have been extremely helpful and I really appreciate it guys. So thank you. This is this is your playthrough too, is what I was going to say before I wanted to shoot freaking bad rass in the, in the toe. I'm not going to shoot him in his beautiful afro because I think that works as body armor. But in the toe is fine. He doesn't have hair on his toe. It's a, it's a medical, medical condition. So I did also get this quality sprinkler upgrade and hopefully I can just replace all of my normal sprinklers with quality sprinklers. They require refined quartz though, which... I have a plan to get. I don't have I don't have it yet. So basically, you know what I used to make diamonds up here, the crystarium? I'm gonna make one of those and I'm gonna put refined quartz in it and or I'm gonna put quartz in it and it's gonna just continuously be pumping out them quartz babies. And then I can go ahead and constantly have a stream of that so that I can improve my farm. That's the plan anyway. Who knows if it'll work out correctly? I don't know what I'm doing. I never was good at farming, but that's okay. I, I think I think with your guys' help I can figure it out. So it'll work out fine. Ah, uh, yeah, the farm's really starting to look nice. I got a nice little square here. I really need to expand the farm as well, as well as replace all the sprinklers with quality sprinklers, because I think I could uh, add a lot of space. I feel like I have more space than I could ever, like, actually use. So maybe I was supposed to have more animals, because the animals are pretty, like, easy to take care of, and they bring in a decent amount of money every day. Like, I get quite a bit of money from, like, milk and everything every day. So it's not that bad. Oh man, it is already 6.40 p.m. I do, oh wow. I didn't realize the day was going by so quickly here in Stardew Valley. But for real, I need to figure out how I'm going to expand. I'm gonna, after I get a good roadmap for the farm, I'm gonna, I put fertilizer somewhere where it's not gonna be used, damn it. Um, oh man, I did not buy enough fertilizer. Oh, I didn't buy near enough fertilizer. Oh, and Pierre's shop is closed. Oh no. No, now everything's gonna be out of sync and, ugh, dang it. Okay, I'm gonna use basic fertilizer for the rest of it, I guess. I guess that's all I can hope to do. I've got, uh, do I have basic fertilizer anywhere? I thought I made some. Did I not make, oh, oh, I have more quality fertilizer. Oh, I must've gotten that from like a quest or something. Okay, sweet. I, that is, I, I seriously lucked out there. I completely underestimated how many, like how much I had to fertilize. Like, jeez. And then this would've taken, I still might not have enough, we'll see. Because, yeah, the quality sprinklers require eight, like, they have eight slots each or something that they, uh, that they give. Oh, this might be perfect. Oh, no, it won't be perfect, actually, now that I look at it. Oh, it is getting late. Okay, so the quality fertilizers have all been hit, so that's the important thing. And so I just need to put, like, three basic fertilizers on that, and I think I will have hit everything. Um, yeah, and I have a little bit of basic. 
Wait, did I lock myself out from from that little spot over there? Did I? No, no, I didn't mean to. I can't get over there. Dang it. That wasn't what I meant to do. Ugh, whatever. You know what? Whatever. I know I need, for sure, I need a parsnip. I need, like, high-quality parsnips. So I'm going to make sure to plant these. And these all mature at different times, so it's kind of... It's going to be a little bit more difficult than I think I would like to keep everything in track. But it shouldn't be too bad, right? It shouldn't be that bad. And then need to plant yeah like 14 of all those and then let's get some potatoes started so do all of these oh man it's getting way too late it's almost 10 o'clock it's getting really difficult to see everything that i'm planting Jeez. Woo! there we go it's hard to see but i have everything planted except for that one little slot over here can i fit something in here like through the bean sprout can i can i just uh maybe i have a plan i have a plan Ooh, damn it, okay, that didn't work. Whatever, there's one slot not being used, but everything else should have seeds in it, and it should be okay to leave them overnight without watering, right? It's not gonna kill everything, right? Oh, that would be bad. But anyways, that's the start of our new farm here in the spring, which is exciting, oh, it's so exciting. Go to sleep for the night. So are we starting our second year in Stardew Valley? No, don't go to sleep for the night a second time. No, bad brass, stop that. Let's go see how everything's doing. Oh, looky here. Did I miss any spots beside that one spot? No, it doesn't. Yeah, I did. I did. Gosh darn it. Now I'm going to not have the spot for the thing. Um, I What do I need high quality of? going to check. I need high quality parsnips for sure. So I'm going to put extra parsnips over there just to increase the timing for that. Let me just water the parsnip. Water the parsnip. Oh, I have a letter. Let's go see. Uh, Dear Bad Brass, I'm now selling high-quality fertilizers as well as new crop selections. See you soon. I know that, Pierre. You saw me yesterday. Just how slow is the Stardew Valley mail service system? So one of the biggest mysteries to me in this game was how do I get into the sewer? And I finally figured it out. Well, it was more like it was given to me. Where's my wallet? Yeah, so I have this rusty key that Gunther from the museum gave to me because I donated a bunch of stuff. He's like, here, have this. I have unlocked the door, but I have not gone into the sewer yet because I wanted to do that with you guys. So let's go. What is, oh, oh, it's toxic. Oh boy, oh, this is, just, this is terrible. Hi, how you doing? Are you a friend? Friend of foe? A human visitor? This is most unusual. His name is Krobus. That means he's creepy. Are you a, a monster or a ghost or what? Let me just talk to you. I'm Krobus, merchant of rare and exotic goods because I needed to be, be here for some reason. Oh, a star drop. I can get that for 20. You know what? Screw it. I can get that for 20,000. I got 39,000. I got nothing to spend it on. Let's do it. Let's just drop it down. Actually, let me look at everything else I have. Crystal floor recipe. Wicked statue recipe. I'm going to get that crystal floor recipe. And a star drop. We're gonna get that energy upgrade, yo! Oh, it's so cool! Ah! I can always use more energy, and I think there's a limited number of star drops in the game. They all get from special things like this. So, boom. <laughs> you found a star drop. Your mind is filled with thoughts of little accident. Your maximum energy level has increased. Thank you, Krobus. I don't know who you are or why you have these things, but that's okay. That's okay. This place is really grody, though. Like, there is some weird steam coming up off of this, off of this toxicness. Like, what have the people of Stardew Valley been drinking? Oh, it just leads out here. Just, is it just, it just leads out here. Is that it? I thought it was like an entire dungeon thing. Oh, stop, stop swimming in it, you derp. Oh boy. Oh, spring onions. Ooh, ooh, nice. Thank you, sir. I didn't know I could get those, but was that it? Like, was there nothing else in the sewer? I'm gonna go check that again, because I'm not quite sure. It seems like, and now that this is all unlocked, is it dangerous for children? Or was Krobus literally the only reason? Do I have to come back at a different time? Maybe at night or in a different season? It feels a little silly to have this entire area just for one merchant who is honestly a bit odd. Can I just, can I walk out there? No? You got anything else for me, Krobus? Is that, or is, it, is this it? Just, just all of this stuff. Void Essence, Solar Essence, Omni Geode, Wicked Statue. You know, I'll, I'll grab the Wicked Statue blueprint. Why, well, I have plenty of money. I've got tons of money. Let's see. I've always wanted a guardian, like, a guardian god statue. Let me just, where do we want to put this? Where do we want to ward off visitors? Actually, where do we want to confuse myself the most? And I have a, the perfect spot for it. Just blend in. You're one of the... Fuck, I put it in the wrong place. I meant to put no, no, why is it here? No, I wanted to put it right here. It's just like, I'm a furnace, I'm a furnace. <laughs> but no, it's in the wrong place now. This sucks. Oh, this is going to mess with me so much. How do I get rid of it? Just, just, uh, just stop. Oh, that's how. That's exactly how. Oh, that's a pretty cool, that's a pretty cool ability. There we go. It's just, it's blending in. He's just like, yeah, no, no, no. No, you didn't see anything. No, 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 you didn't. Oh, boy. 
I think I'm gonna leave this episode here. I was really hoping it would rain like the next day after this, but I checked the weather, it's gonna be clear and sunny. Because I think it needs to be raining for you to triple, trig, triple. It has to be raining for you to trigger Abigail's next event, and I really wanna do that like on camera with you guys. I think that'd be really fun, because I'm still pursuing Dad Abigail. I think my relationship with Penny is also going well, yeah, because I had Penny for an event for, for the Christmas event, and I, I'm sorry I didn't get that on camera. I just didn't wanna do another video in winter. And uh, she got major hard ups for that. It was fantastic. But again, this has been Stardew Valley. Thank you everybody for watching. If you like this video, hit that like button and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Valiant out. Brother. Yeah, brother. Yes, everybody but you knew. Why didn't you tell me? Cause you're an asshole. This is a fucking war zone, man. Even when I'm just trying to like calmly go and grab my own squares, not even bother anybody suddenly there's people they're shooting at me i don't know if you guys could see that but when i did this it, i did it pretty hard and actually kind of like shocked me there for a second like that i don't know